Okay, so we have already done our pre-takeoff checklists, yep. but they would have included our DFMS, which I haven't done. Yeah, so which I'm happy for you to do that here, Mark. Right. Like, but normally what I do is I normally do right hand to left hand. Okay, so thousand revs. Yep. Uh, right hand to left hand. So, so sort of come up this way. We've yep. got a fuel tank selected. Yep. Throttles where we need it. Yep. Boost pumps on. Mixture's rich. Flaps at fifty percent. Fifty percent. Yep. Radios to the tower. Let's just get rid of that. Sure. Radios to the tower. Yep. So if I'm just going to do, um, see, I'm, I'm, I don't want to learn a different way of doing the same thing at sure. all. So my, it would have been carby heat, like CFMS. Yep. No carby heat. Fuel pump. Yep. Mixtures rich. Yep. Um, masters on. Yes. Mags are on both. Yes. And all my switches. So uh, I've done all of those. So my radio, my transponder. Yep. So ch change the radio to tower. Yep. So I'm going to go to. Yep. There. Transponder's correct. Yep. Uh, and all my switches would be landing light on. Excellent. And just throw this across the engine. Okay. Just so that it's giving us a nice, you know, indication of what's um, of what's going on. And okay. uh, yeah, the old uh, edges are nice and secure. My door's in, your door's in. Looking yep. good. Pretty good right. you are, mate. And um, as far as the roll is concerned, keeping it straight. Yep. Um, you're saying under you're 40 knots. You're only going to need. Just think of it like this. Just think of it like. Don't overthink it. You're only going to need right foot. Yeah, but you got a right. You got a right foot brake and a right foot rudder. Yeah, you'll feel it. Okay. Yeah, you'll feel it. Right, well, I've got nobody in the circuit, which is good. Good. So, um, we're Drop. at 17 left. Yep. Rabin Tower, Cirrus, Tango for Pass Sierra, ready 17 left for circuits. Tango for Pass Sierra, follow Cessna and upwind, cliff takeoff. Cliff takeoff, Tango for Pass Sierra. Yeah, good day, Mike, Whiskey, Whiskey, Baron, we are uh, 100 miles to the uh, north-east at 2500, inbound with Romance, Chris Burns. Mike, Whiskey, Whiskey, Rabbit Tower, join left base, sir. Uh, okay, line her up on the arrows, that's it. Left base. Bit of straight. And full power, that's it. And just varying degrees of right foot. You will need, this is good, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay, 40 knots. Right, three miles connect tower, one, two, three. 50 knots. Everything's green. 60. 65. Nice and easy. That's it. Slow the nose a little bit, yeah, that's it. Kilo Romeo, Romeo, ready runway, 17 left for an oblique crosswind departure. We're, just, we're looking to get through 85 knots, which we are almost there. Kilo Romeo, Romeo. Yep, and so now we can put the flap up, and we'll get a little sink. But that's just because the flap's coming up, the drag's coming off. Yep. And our rate of climb's going to improve drastically now. Okay. So coming up to 300. Yep. Uh, seven and a half degrees, nose up. I'm on my heading. Good. 400 feet, landing light and fuel pump. Good. So 500. I'll be around 500. Nice gentle turn. And so yeah, that's 101 15. knots, which is more or less where you are at the moment, is the climb out speed. Okay. And through 600 now, we can say caps available. Okay. And so when I do that, I normally sort of put my hand up there just to... Alright. I'll have a pass behind the Cessna Airborne from my left, they're departing to the east. Cliff takeoff, make left turn. I'm coming up to 900 feet. I'm that's coming good. up to 90 degrees to the runway. Good. So that's 90 degrees to the runway. There's your thousand. Okay. So lower the nose here. Lower the nose first. Yep. I want to bring it back to about 55% power, which is quite. It's actually. It's actually quite a way back. 55. Oh yeah. And you can start your turn. I'll get the radios. You just get it to 55% power and on downwind at a thousand. Okay. Take a pass here. Turn down and touch and go. Take a pass here. Follow Cessna close base in the glide. I got it. Take a pass here. I'd like to get the radios in as soon as. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'm mate. comfortable with. So it. feel where that throttle position is. Yep. It's quite a way back, isn't it? It is. All right. So that's where it's going to have to come back to every time. 
Okay, so that's parallel with my runways. Good. Just under a thousand feet, a little bit of turbulence from the preceding traffic. Uh, so brakes, undercarriage. Yeah, test the brakes. Brakes in. Yep. Undercarriage. Mixes rich. Mixtures rich. Master's on. Max Master both. is on. Yep. Mags are on both. Yep. Oil temperatures and pressures are in the green. Hatches and harnesses are secure. And just navigate the fuel pump and landing light with uh, this one. Yep. So fuel pump on. Pump on. Landing light on. Now, when you just prior to turning base, probably when we want to get our first stage of flight, but you go down here and just make sure your speed's under 120 knots, which it is. Yep. So you go through that first stage of flight now. And feel that rise. We just want to sort of push forward to do that. Do to get rid of it. And you might just need a little forward trim. That's it. And you can start your turn onto base. I'm just right on my thresholds at the moment. No, you're right. Come around. I'd normally go 45 degrees. Ah, nah, nah. Yeah. Alright, like I said, I don't want to learn things a different way, mate. But anyway, so I want to power back. Yeah, power back a little bit. Come back to about, um, oh, we want, want around it somewhere between, you know, 15 and 17 inches, so that's good. And just kind of hold the nose up a little bit. That's it, that's it, that's good. Because we're, we're aiming for 85 to 90 knots on base. And then we'll be aiming for 75 to 80 on final. Um, about here would be an ideal downwind, so you'd get that 45 degrees. So we just we went out slightly on crosswind there, so that's why it felt a bit um, felt a bit strange. He's on the other runway. Okay. Our guys um, just about to touch and go. Okay. Well, um, I'm on, on a base closer. Here. Tango Papa Sierra, clear touch and go. Go for it. Clear touch and go. Tango Papa Sierra. So we've got to be below 100 knots, which we are. We get a final stage of flap on. Lowering that nose as we do it as well, because you feel that, that, that push forward. That's the way. And we're looking for 75 to 80 knots, which I reckon you'll get if you keep this attitude. Come around. Nice and easy. We're looking ahead, looking at the runway, looking ahead, sort of adjusting that bank angle as you, as you would normally do it. Just give yourself a smidge of power here. We might be sinking a little bit low. That's good, that's, that's enough. That, that power will fix it. Just give it time. Excellent. Yeah, straight up the tower. Foxtrot down, Mike. Travel area is 11 miles to the north east. We've got our landing clearance. Fuel pumps on. Flaps are, flaps are down. You can bring that. Yep. Not available due. And leave the power where it is at the moment. And essentially what we want to do, just a little bit more power, a little bit more power, because we don't want to let that speed drop below 75 knots there. We need a little bit of energy to bleed off in the in the flare. Good. Okay, good, I'm good, 73 mate. now. Good, mate. Don't chop the power, though. Allow the aircraft to come down. That's it. Now just very gently bring the power all the way off, very gently, and kind of gentle flare as you do it. Just very gentle. About there. Perfect. Okay. Flaps back to 50.